Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Now if you're new to this channel, then I would suggest that you check out my other videos and the playlist that I've created on this channel so that you can view all other technologies and platforms that are normally used in the data analytics world. Now coming back to today's video, we're going to cover the second item in the data manipulation language, which is insert statement. Now in the last video, we covered the update statement. So if you have not watched that video, then please do so after you watch this one. So for today's example, I'm going to use the meets table here. And as usual, links will be in the description where you can download this data set and follow along if you want. Now, if I go to a preview section of this data set, I see that there are multiple columns here. Okay. So the task at hand here is I want to insert a new row item within this table using a SQL statement. So whenever you want to insert a data set into an existing table, you will use a statement called insert. And this is how we write an insert statement. So I have opened up an editor window here and I'm going to write keyword for insert statement, which is insert. I want to insert a row item into the meets table. So I'm going to say insert into meets. Then in the second line, you need to enter values and open up a bracket and start entering the values for the new row. Now the rule for insert statement is if you are entering values for each and every column within your table, then you can just directly enter your values like this. Just keep in mind the order of the column. Order of the column cannot be disturbed. So the first column is meet ID and then meet path, federation, date, meet country, meet state, meet town and meet name. So in total, I have eight columns. So when I'm entering a values like this, I need to enter eight values. So I'm just going to enter a random value. Please make sure that you are adhering to the data type for each of the columns. And if you have any doubt, you can always go to the schema and check what type of values that column have. So meet ID is an integer. So what I've written is correct. Then we have a string. So for now, I'm going to just randomly enter some value. Now I have entered all the values. The first one is an integer. Second and third one was a string. Fourth one is a date. So that's why I've entered the date like this. Make sure you follow the format as it is, which is there in the data set. For example, if I enter the date in DDMMYY format, this will not accept because in the data set, it is in YYMMDD format. Okay. So you need to enter it in the same format. And then uh, remaining all of them were string. Now, if I insert this by running this query, the prompt here says this statement added one row to meets. And just to check if it worked fine, I'm going to write a select statement star from meets where meet ID is equal to 999. Okay. And I'm going to select this statement and run it. And as you see, I have successfully inserted this row item into the table. Now, what if while inserting values into the table, you do not want to insert values for all the columns. Instead, you want only couple of values to be inserted in couple of columns. So what will you do then? Solution for that is very simple. After you return insert into, just open a bracket here and enter the column name where you want to insert your values. So let's say example, I want meet id i want meet country and federation to have some values now if you see when i entered the column name obviously the order of the column is not correct but that is perfectly fine because now you're specifically mentioning the column headers first and then giving some values so i'm gonna remove everything else from here and i only need three values here which is meet id meet country and the federation and i'm gonna just run this query now now let's check if it's working fine or not. I'm going to select the below statement and run it. And when I ran the select statement, it is now showing two row items because both of them have the same meet ID, but one of them have only values in meet ID, federation and meet country. Remaining all the columns are null because we have specifically said that I want to enter values for only these columns. If you notice the order of the column did not matter because in the table, after meet ID, we have federation and then meet country, right? But since we have mentioned the column header here, the order does not matter. It will follow the same order that we have mentioned here and enter the value 
one by one for each column header. So this is how you work with insert statement. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to cover something else in the insert statement. I'll be happy to do that. If you're liking my content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new content. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.